Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin and uh, today I finally got around to sizing the bracelet on my SPB149. Been avoiding it for probably a year or so just because it has this pin and collar system. Um, I'm always worried I'm going to mess something up with the pin and collar system and I, I kind of did on this one. So uh, I found one of these I used one of these that fit the hole the tightest because I was afraid of uh, bending uh, the pins on this. One of these is, is really smaller than the other one. But in doing so, what I did is when you punch this down, so there's an arrow on here showing you which way to uh, press into your link. And I pressed it all the way through to push the pin out. And in doing so, what I did is I actually stretched out this collar. Uh, let's see. You can, if I can zoom in close enough. So this collar, when I press the tool through here, through the link, it actually stretched out the collar so that it doesn't work with the pin anymore. So I guess it's kind of a warning here. You need to be careful when you... Uh, select your tool to push in the in the um, link hole here that um, you don't stretch out the collar. So the pin is too big for the collar and it stretched it out. So uh, I'm going to try and fix it. I guess you can buy replacements for these because they're so small they're very easy to lose. Hopefully I don't lose it on video here. Let's see where are we at. Uh, anyway so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and press this. I don't keep dropping it. I'm going to try and squeeze this so I close up this gap on here. I'm trying to show you the gap. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can pause it and get this situated correctly. Okay, so hopefully you can see that right there. There's a slit in the collar, so I'm going to try and close up that slit. And I'm just going to use some rusty old vice grips. Um, the tip of this is preventing me from closing it all the way, so hopefully that'll be the right size for this. I'm not even sure I'm going to line this up. I might have to do this off camera. So maybe I can just set this like that. So I have it laid in there. See it right there. And I don't think I'm squeezing it, so that gap's already too big. Okay, let me try it with some needle nose pliers. squeeze it the right way or not. Okay, looks like that might have done the trick, but now I'm afraid I might have squeezed it too much. So if you know of anywhere I can buy some replacements, put it in the comment section below. Yeah, so I didn't do that quite right. The other tool would have worked better, but I couldn't squeeze it tight enough. Let me see if I can press it out from this side. Kind of forge it to the right shape. Um, let me pause the video and I'll play around with this a little bit more. Sorry, not the easiest thing to see here, but I have the pin uh, right here in the collar is held in the vice grips there and I'm just going to try and hit the pin down a little bit see if I can press that out. Uh, hopefully I can get it back off the pin. This actually worked or not. I 
Uh, nope, that didn't work. Oh well. I guess I just have to buy a new collar. Well, hopefully uh, you learned a little something from this video. And as always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching. All right, so I couldn't quite give up on it yet. So what I did is I put it into the spare link and I was able to uh, push the pin into the collar. And hopefully I can just uh, keep hammering on this and push the pin out through the collar and then have the collar back in working order. So unfortunately I'll have to pause it um, and hit it with the uh, this guy here and uh, one of these pins. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I was able to press that the rest of the way through. So let's see if it's going to be tight enough now for the pin. For few... Nah, damn it. Well, I just lost that collar, so... Um, yeah, I think it would have worked if I didn't just lose it somewhere. So anyway, uh, if you could let me know where to buy a replacement um, collar, I'd greatly appreciate it. And that will conclude this video. As always, thank you for the time and thank you for watching.